All right, what's going on guys? This is Sony64 and I'm going to make this video about how to find your computer specs, PC specs, basically anything hardware and software related to your computer. Uh, software pretty much only limited to obviously your operating system, but more or less basically anything that's important about your computer. A lot of people get the question, you know, what kind of graphics card do you have and uh, how fast is your processor? So this that's what this video is going to be about. There are three main ways that I go about getting information about a computer. Uh, I'm going to show you the first way because it's the, e I wouldn't say easiest way, but uh, it's the way that doesn't really require you to download anything. So what you're going to want to do here is go to my computer, right click here, and click on properties and we minimize that because we don't need this open anymore and as you can see here it gives you your Windows edition I have Windows 7 Pro and some some specifications about your system so as you can see there's a processor uh, the amount of RAM you have and that's pretty much it you know you, you don't really get much from this it's basically if you want to know what kind of like addition of Windows you have. So if you want to know if you're using Windows 7 Pro or if you're using Windows Vista even though honestly I can pretty much tell if I'm using Vista or 7 but yeah. Um, you're going to want to pair this with the DirectX diagnostic tool so you're going to want to go to you're going to want to push your Windows button and type in DXBIAG. Make sure you spell it out all the way and the first thing that comes up is the executable for this program. It's called the, I just like to call it DX Diag, but it's the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. This gives you slightly more information. Like, for example, if you have a Dell computer under system manufacturer, it'll say Dell. But apparently, from my motherboard, it knows that I have a gateway computer. <clears throat> also, tells you your version of BIOS, and it also gives you your processor as well as RAM, which it does here, but you get a little more. But what's nice about here is that if you go to display under the display tab it'll give you your graphics card the amount of memory on your graphics card your current display mode and some DirectX features which aren't really super important but it's nice that they're there also tells you about your speakers and your speaker setup and whatever your drivers and some input as you can see I have my PlayStation 3 controller still plugged in so that shows up there and that's really the first way to get all your information. It is pretty limited, I guess. So the second way will give you more depth as far as what you want to know about your computer. What you're going to want to download is CPUZ, which I'm opening up right now. The website is right there, CPUID.com. And you're going to want GPUZ, which when my computer is done, which I'm clicking on right now. Here we go. So while GPUZ is loading up, I'm just going to explain CPUZ, and it loaded up already. Anyway, <laughs> um, CPUZ is a program that tells you everything that you should probably know about your CPU. It gives you your clocks, your catch, your technology, 90, uh, 90 nanometer, which is mine. It's a pretty old processor, dual core 2.0 gigahertz, which you can see here under the core speed. Tells you how many cores you have, which is right there actually, two cores. It also gives you information about your catch if you are interested in that. Uh, I don't have an L3 catch because I don't have the newer processors as far as um, AMD and Intel goes. I don't have those newer processors with like an L3 catch. But it tells you about your L1 catch and your L2 catch. Also gives you motherboard information like DX Diag did. So, uh, there is a GeForce integrated graphics chip on this card, and uh, that's what this motherboard was made around. It was made around GeForce. So, honestly, I put a graphics card in here, which you can see under the graphics tab, that is a GeForce card. So, I don't know. It feels like I've gotten a slight performance boost, but I don't really notice it. Under the memory tab, you can see your total memory it gives you some information about your CAS latency and your DRAM frequency which is pretty low but that's because I have a 
because I have DDR2. And under SPD, you can get information about each memory stick. So, as you can see here, Hyundai Electronics PC6400. But under slot 3, I have my Kingston RAM, which is PC24300. That's probably why my clock's so low. I've got um, mismatched RAM. So, it kind of just like the higher RAM downgrades to lower RAM. See how this is at 400 and this one is at 266. It downgraded, so that's why my um, my total DRAM frequency is 251 rather than something like 350, 387, or something like that. So that's CPUZ. GPUZ, on the other hand, is all about your graphics card. So if you have any type of graphics card, this will tell you everything you need to know about it. This is pretty much all the information that you would get if you were looking at a graphics card on, say, a website like Newegg. It gives you your bus width, your BIOS version of, of the graphics card, obviously not like your whole system BIOS. <laughs> gives you your graphics card clock, your default clock, your memory, your shader uh, count, which isn't on my card for some strange reason. It'll tell you if you're even an SLI. If you have a AMD graphics card, it'll tell you if you're in Crossfire. It tells you your types of computing, like if you have OpenCL with your card, CUDA, PhysX, all that nice pretty stuff that people care about. Uh, your bus interface, unfortunately mine is running at X8 when my PCI slot supports X16, so I'm going to try to figure that out sooner or later because that kind of bothered me, but whatever. Also gives you your memory size, uh, the day it was released, because apparently that's attached to the graphics card. It says, hey, this is when we manufactured this graphics card, and he just put that information on the graphics card, so that's kind of cool. And also, it gives you sensors, so you can monitor your GPU clock, your memory clock, your temperature, your fan speed. Uh, before I go on, because this is actually pretty important, and I forgot this when I did it the first time, which is why I deleted the first uh, recording of this video, is speed fan. This helps you monitor temperatures and your fan speeds. So if you are interested in all that stuff, uh, monitoring your PC health, as far as the fans and the heat goes, you're going to want to get speed fans. So honestly, all three of these programs you should have. You should have GPUZ, CPUZ, and speed fan, because speed fan does help. To be honest, even if you didn't have these two programs, uh, just download speed fan. It will help you keep track of your fan speed and uh, the heat that uh, your hard drive and your graphics card and your motherboard and your CPU, they're all they all create heat because there's electricity running through them. So you want to keep an eye on that and make sure you keep them low. So this is the second way to find the specs of your computer. Also, it, right here, if you didn't notice under the fan stuff, it'll tell you how many fans you have. So that's if that's important to you, you should definitely get that. So the last program is basically uh, it's a summary of both these two programs here. As, as you probably notice under CPUZ, it doesn't really give you what type of like, um, what operating system you're using. So that's where this program comes in, and this program is called Speccy. It's from a website called Periform, or per Periform, I don't know how to pronounce it, but when you open it up, it will show you eight of these options, or not options, these, um, these specs. These are pretty much the main specs anyone's going to ask you about your computer. Operating system, CPU, RAM, graphics card. None really usually asks about how your hard drive is. And you have an ID. And your optical drive. If you have a, let's say you have a D player, a Blu-ray player. These will both show up. It even tells you about your audio if that's important to you. The first thing that came as you can see is the Microsoft Windows 7 Professional 64-bit Service Pack 1. So, yeah, this program is pretty cool because you can go into depth on each of these, and it basically gives you what all of these other programs give you, the CPUZ and the DXI, it basically gives you everything, but wrapped into one program, and I like that. I like that. It, in fact, it's so good, to be honest, it should be included with Windows. So, I'm going to click on operating system here, so you can see all that nice, pretty stuff programs, because this is bulking up RAM and... Honestly, less RAM, the slower your computer moves. So, while these come up, I'm just going to tell you that if you really, really 
well, well I, obviously you can tell what my recommendation is. You should definitely download Specky because it gives you everything. Rather than having to download these two programs, the CPU-Z and the GPU-Z. The only reason why I have them is that because they're centric to the thing that you're trying to describe. So CPU-Z gives you basically everything from top to bottom on CPU. This program also does it, but I don't know. This kind of font and the way it's laid out is pretty hard to read if you ask me. So I like to use CPU-Z to look at CPU stuff. The main reason I use GPU-Z is if I get a new graphics card and I want to stress test it because that um, program, the GPU-Z, has a stress test uh, program with it. So those are the three ways of getting your specs for your computer. If you feel like sharing your specs, just put them in the comment section. But yeah, uh, I honestly think everybody should have this program. It just, it really is that good. It tells you everything you need to know. From your operating system, to your antivirus, to the optical drives, to the hard drives and all the information about the hard drives. Even network. Network is here. In case you want to know what network you're connected to. That's here. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you guys know how to find your specs now. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.